Well, tonight, John F. Kennedy's diary is on the auction block, a diary that he wrote before he became president. JFK was 28 years old and wrote about visiting Germany shortly after World War II. And as WBZ's Chris McKinnon shows us this evening, he offered a startling take on Adolf Hitler. This generation of Germans has earned the right to be free. Some two decades before addressing crowds in West Berlin as president, John F. Kennedy wrote these 61 diary pages, 12 in longhand, 49 typed in the summer of 1945. Germany had just surrendered, and 28-year-old JFK was touring Europe as a newspaper correspondent, traveling shoulder to shoulder with leaders from around the world. The young JFK's final destination, Germany just months after the Allied victory. Already a scholar in global politics, Kennedy seems fascinated with Hitler and his place in history, writing, he had in him the stuff of which legends are made. And within a few years, Hitler will emerge from the hatred that surrounds him now as one of the most significant figures who ever lived. Bobby Livingston works for the auction house offering the diary. There's no glorification, and I wouldn't take this out of context. I think Kennedy was a historian, and he's writing his understanding of Hitler's place in, in history. Kennedy writes, Hitler had boundless ambition for his country, which rendered him a menace to the peace of the world. But he had a mystery about him in the way he lived and in the manner of his death that will live and grow after him. Kennedy gave the diary to his Senate research assistant, Deidre Henderson, who published it in book form in the mid-90s. She's now auctioning the original document, providing a new window into the man who would be president. The diary goes up for auction on April 26th. It's expected to sell for around $200,000. Chris McKinnon, WBZ News.